Hello and welcome to this video from Client Engager. My name is Johan Gori, and today I'm going to take you through the Zama integration. That's right, it is now in beta testing. It will be rolled out to all of our users in the next seven to 10 days. I'm going to take you through today exactly what it does, how it works, and what's still to come from it in the near future. So let's roll those credits and have a look. Okay, so here we are in Client Engager. So we need to set up our link to Zama first. So this is the first big job. So to do this, we go into settings. We go down to the wonderful Zama integration logo that is now here, look at that. Okay, and it's asking for IP, uh, authorization and access codes, API keys, basically. Okay, so we've made this bit really easy. All we have to do is click here. And because I've already logged into Zama, it's remembered my login, so it's pulled me straight in and it's taken me straight to the screen I need. So I'm going to copy this one. And paste that. I'm going to copy this one. And paste that. And I'm going to copy this one. And paste that. I'm going to authorize. There we go, all authorized. That's it, you are now linked to Zama. It is that easy. Remember, if you don't have a Zama link, a Zama account already, you will need to create an account. You can set up an account directly through Zama's website. So make sure you go and visit them and get that sorted. So we've done our settings. That's how easy that is. Let's go and have a look at what Zama looks like then. Okay, so we go to our clients. Here we go. Now the Zama link, as of today, and when it comes out to the public, it's going to work with all company types. So that's limited companies, partnerships, etc and contacts of those limited companies or partnerships etc we're still building out the ability to link to sole traders because that's a bit more complex due to the way Zama works with contacts and company structures so what I'm going to show you today is how it works currently with the all the company types and it's going to be the same principle with sole traders once we finish building that out so let's have a look so we're going to go into client engager You'll notice, now notice that there is a Zama AML tab. As you can see, we're not linked to anything yet, so that's fine. But that is now there. So let's link Client Engager to Zama. We're going to go into our general info. And right next to that link with QuickBooks is now link with Zama. So I'm going to click on that. So it's now searching my Zama account for a Client Engager Online Limited demo. Something I found is sometimes we put in limited and it's LTD and stuff like that. So I'd get rid of that and just search the actual name. I know this client isn't actually in Zama at the moment. So the first thing I'm going to do in this case is just create it. And I'm going to confirm that. And then I'm going to press save. So that's it. I've created a brand new client record in my Zama. If I search client engager in my Zama, there we go. That was the first time it wasn't in there. It's pulled it all through. It's pulled the contact details through everything. So that's really nice and easy. I'm going to go to my Zama AML page because this is where you manage everything from. So here we can see what risk assessments are raised in Zama and which contacts have been linked and onboarded. Now we're using webhooks so the data should push and pull instantly, just like what I just showed you. I press save in Client Engager. We went straight into Zama and the records were there. If it doesn't show up straight away for any reason, all you have to do is press refresh manually and that will just trigger that webhook to work straight away. So we can see we haven't got any risk assessments raised and we've not started the onboarding or AML check yet. But we can start parrying that from Client Engager. So for example, maybe I want to start the risk assessment. I'm going to press new. And as soon as I've pressed new, it takes me into Exama and it takes me straight to the page I need. So all I need to do is choose my template. I'm going to use that one. And that's it. I've started my risk assessment in Exama. Now when I go back to here, if I click refresh menu quickly, you'll see there's a risk assessment now started. It's in progress. And every time you do any work to that, whether you've created a risk value 
or whether you're approving it or you've completed it, it will update in Client Engager for you. So let's have a quick look at this. If I edit the risk overview and make this normal and save it, I'll then go back here. I'm going to refresh it manually. And now look, the risk has gone from a dash to normal. And it's the same principle here for onboarding. I can just click new and it starts the onboarding process. Can I send? Yes. So that's how powerful this is all from Client Engager linked into Zama. So that's how you create a new contact. That's how we require our risk assessments. It jumps us straight in there using that smart link. Same with onboarding. Okay, so how do we deal with clients that are on Zama but we haven't linked them yet? So let's, what we do is we go back to our link, Zama, and we're gonna go to search for, the, uh, for it, and we can click on link. Then it wants us to check all the details are right and we're using the right contacts. Press confirm and that's it, we're now linked. Exactly the same way we work with QuickBooks, exactly the same way we will work with Xero in the future. It's all quick and easy. But I still think the most powerful feature here is that smart link. Just being able to click that and it pops up straight away. Now, one thing to note, in Zama, you can have as many risk assessments against the same company as you want. So if you, once you've created a risk assessment, the new button will not disappear because you might always want to create a new risk assessment to replace the old one. If you just want to see the old risk assessment, just click on view and set Zama, new window opens, and here we go, that's the risk assessment. It's that slick and easy. If a client uploads any data, such as a new address or a new contact number, or a date of birth, that will automatically pull into Client Engager and you're going to get a notification telling you Zama's got some new information. Do you want to review it and accept it? Exactly the same way as we deal with our company's house integration. This has been an extremely complex integration for our team to build. Our lead developer, Peter, has done a fantastic job in taking what is an overwhelming amount of information in the form of AML risk assessments and data security to refine a really, really slick and easy user experience for you, our users. So in the next seven to 10 days, this product is gonna be live in your instance of Client Engager. You're gonna be able to use it. After that, in the next few weeks, we're gonna have the ability to do all the sole trader linking, and we're gonna be working on the amount of data that's pushing back from Zama into our product. The team have done a phenomenal job to get this done. It's been a real mammoth task to be able to refine and pull in all the information we need and work out a whole new interface, but also to make it such a user-friendly experience where you can click that new button, it takes you straight to the risk assessment. Click the new button for an onboarding request, it takes you straight to the right page. It's really slick and I've not seen it look this good anywhere else, so we're really proud of this. Obviously, any feedback you've got on it, please let us know. This is still a work in progress. We are still working to improve it and make it slicker. So any thoughts, any feedback, I'd be really grateful for you to pass it on, whether that's in our Facebook group or via our emails, and then we can action everything that you send back to us. Look forward to being able to talk through even more integrations and more updates in the coming weeks. Thank you very much. I'll talk to you all soon.